Lefty against righty, so back to back here on the shooting line. Sandra Hervé of France to get this gold medal match underway. Herb looks like she's really got her sight set. One of the first people this afternoon to come out finding the 10. Creels looks a bit anxious on that first arrow. Sorts on the face of Sarah Prills with that last arrow for a 28. And the first arrow for Sandra Hervé is subject to a measure, Jean. What do you think? Uh, I think it's going to be there. I think she just pulled the line at the bottom. Called it spot on there. Ten, nine, nine. Okay. So a 29 for Sandra Hervé means that she takes the lead after the first by a single point here in Nîmes. Those measures so important, John. Absolutely, but I, that was a good one. I felt from what I could see. So, Sandra Hervé with a one-point lead. If we look back at some of the shots, the reaction of Sarah Priels. Spirits remain high on the Belgian side of the shooting line. We go into end number two, and Sarah Priel's training by one will shoot first. Creel's not looking quite settled yet. I think once she does settle down, she'll slow down a bit as well. Much better shot there from Sarah. More like Sarah's timing and accuracy. Uh, matched by Sandra Hervé. So that uh, one point deficit remains in place. John, you called it there. You're saying that Prills, once she settled, would shoot better. Are we seeing signs of that now? Yep, yeah. yeah. Sarah's not normally a really fast shooter. I was surprised at the speed of her first few arrows, but her sixth shot there was the Sarah Priels. I know that once she's in that groove, she probably won't leave that 10 much now. Well, quick retrieval this time in between the ends for the agents. No measures required here, but both archers matching each other in that second end 
hints of Priel's settling into her rhythm though. She still trails by one. Herve leading 58-57, so it will be the Belgian archer to shoot first in the third end of this gold medal match. Evidence remains that Prills has settled. <laughs> Likewise, on the other side of the shooting line, though. Sandra Herb really keeping up well with set well, keeping the lead still with Sarah Priels in this match. Looking very comfortable out there, but that has just fallen a little bit low. Mm. Did she sniff the opportunity and just slightly tighten Priels? Well, matched again. But it was that turnaround in the second arrow that made the difference. And we're all square here, John. This is really tensed up in the last few arrows. Yeah, it's, I've seen some really great shots from both athletes. But there's just been a few shots where they're just a little bit quick and they're just rushing, I feel. Very easy to sit here and criticise, but... You know, it's 20 seconds, and that's a long time, really, in reality. Taking another look at this one, just to be 100% sure, that's how important this is. Limited number of indoor events before the grand finale in Vegas. So the uh, target judge making sure of the scores as they always do but just taking a little bit paying a little bit more attention than perhaps normal these events are very important aren't they john absolutely this event well is combining of course with the las vegas shoot in two weeks time in las vegas usa and there's a lot of prize money up for grabs there as well in the indoor world series All square in the compound women's gold medal match between Hervé and Priels. So Hervé of France will shoot first in end number four. Yours has the lead now. Can she maintain it? Well, in short, no. Pressure switches over to target number one. It's another nine and a twenty-eight there for Herve. Chance for Priels again. And she's done it. She's put it in to take the lead here. 115 plays 114. Reels has turned this one around in end number four. Just one more regulation end to go. Big swing there in that end. Preels caught her up. Now she's taken the lead. Can she close this match out on the last end? You look at the trajectory of the athletes. Herve started with the 229s and then dropped to 228s. Priel started with a 28 and has shot 29s since. So the momentum certainly with the Belgian at the moment. 
114 for Hervé, 115 for Priels. Critical fourth end for the Belgian. She'll shoot second in the fifth. So it's over to Sandra Hervé of France to start end number five. Opportunity for Preels. Well, that relieves some pressure. Hervé's now missed three, well, shot three nines in a row. Sarah Preels is now on a roll, showing why she's the world record holder in this event. Nod of affirmation. Hervé in a spot of bother. Finishes with another nine by the looks of things for a 141. Well, it's all there for you to see. A seven will do this. Priels finishes with a perfect. A great finish to a great match for Sarah Priels. She really played a blinder there, turning it around in the fourth she's taken the first title of the season here in the compound women's event at the Nimes archery tournament of 2022 consummate performance there john really really impressive Hervé came out finding the center really quick but couldn't maintain it she started missing creel started really nervy really edgy snatching her shots a little bit she settled down in the third end and really showed her quality to finally win this title.